Margaret Crusade, the YouTube channel. <laughs> I feel like it would be really cool if I could have like this great production and tell you all about how this is the first time we've tried to make a video to put on YouTube, but I would be lying. Since this is the Grit Crusade, which means getting real in the trenches, I feel like I have to open with being a little bit real about this is like, I don't know, um, several episodes in, like eight or nine, and we couldn't get the mics right. So I had this other set of mics, and they were picking up so much noise, and then when I had someone else over here. So anyway, thankfully, work with my production team, and I'm re I record here in my house, so I don't have any fancy like acoustics or anything like that. We were able to switch out mics, and um, hopefully the, this will be the, I think, second episode on the YouTube channel, but my first one solo. So I get to go a little rogue when I'm solo, which is kind of fun. So today's episode is called The Choice is Yours. Ta-da! I feel like it's kind of like the price is right, but the choice is yours. I don't know why. That, I mean, maybe that's a terrible analogy, but we're going to go with it. Yep. Okay. Well, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the podcast. And most importantly, if it's your first time here, nice to meet you. This is a place where we get real. The things we talk about are not always easy, but they're always worth it. And today's episode is definitely going to be worth it. So we're going to go ahead and dive in with the choice is yours. So let me kind of tell you like a little bit of backstory of how I came to this topic. So when I'm choosing topics for the podcast, I let them come to me. So I've never gone and like Googled, like, what's the best top podcast topic? It's almost like, what do I feel like the world or universe needs to hear from my soul? Because this is a creative outlet for me. This is a place where I can get real with you guys and just talk about the things that I'm seeing in my leadership journey, in my life. And this whole concept of people feeling stuck where they are has just been hanging with me for a little bit. You know, it's like, I don't know, like maybe it's finances or maybe it's a relationship, but there is some sort of co-creation that I believe in. And like, I haven't totally worked into exactly what that is yet, but yes, I believe there's a creator of the universe, but I think we are co-creators with the creator of the universe. We are in it with him or her. And I don't even know if God would have a him or her. Would it be he? I don't know. There was a side note on that. Anyhow, so I think we're in it though. Like the choices we make are, yeah, like God is all knowing, can see all things, but the choices we make change the course of time. It changes like even like all of humanity, you know, like you never know the words or actions you do or don't do, how those could change things for everyone else. And I think that's true in our own lives too. Like sometimes we see these like big politicians or change makers or maybe celebrities with great platforms and we see all the good or maybe not good. Sorry, hit the mic. See, new mic, still working it out. But the good or maybe not good that they're doing, right? And like they're up here on this pedestal and here we are down here and we really have just as much influence right where we're at including in our own lives. And so that's what we're going to dive in today is how we can make choices to enhance or change our lives. And we're going to talk specifically about our work lives, about our finances, and about relationships. Ta -da! Okay. So let's jump in first with our work lives. Okay. So let's say that you have a job and you don't like your schedule. We'll change it, girl. Come on, man. You can do this. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but over the course of time. Let me tell you how this has shown up in my life. So about three years ago, I had um, started a couple businesses, was working myself like crazy. I had a two-year-old and I wasn't really doing good at anything. And I knew that my flame was about to burn out. I was either physically going to collapse because I couldn't do it anymore or I was going to have to like change something, but I didn't know what to do. And I turned to my two most trusted confidants, Lisa and Justin. Justin's my husband. Lisa's one of our vice presidents and one of my business partners. And I said, I don't know anything else. I don't know anything else to teach y'all. I don't know anything else to improve. I just know I need to do something, right? And 
it really took me having that kind of like crisis moment of this is not working. What do I want? And something about water calls me. And so um, there's a little small uh, pond at one of our parks uh, close by here. And it's not a fancy pond. It's just a pond that they stock for a fish and derby for the kids in the summer. And I went out there with a little journal, not a nice new one. I didn't even go to the store and get one. I just got something with some paper I could write on. And I sat out there and thought, if I could design my life, what would it look like? Think about that for a second. That's your homework. If you could design your life, what would it look like? Because let me tell you, it can. It can look just like that. Not today, maybe not tomorrow, but small incremental changes over time. James Clear in Atomic Habits talks about the power of the 1%. If you can just get 1% better or closer to a goal every day, over the course of time, compounding effect, you're going to get there or you're going to make that big change or that big improvement. So at work, let's say you don't love your career or you don't love your schedule or you don't love your boss or you don't love your coworkers. Well, you know what? We all have to work with people we don't like. Part of it, right? So I don't really factor that into my decision. If someone's effective, passionate, and has good heart, hey, doesn't really matter if we're like besties, you know? But if what you're doing is what you know you're not called to do, Sometimes we don't know what we're called to do. We don't know what our big purpose is because that's such a big question. But sometimes we know what we're doing right now is what we're not called to do. And that's on the journey to getting to what you're called to do, right? I knew that I was not supposed to be a school teacher forever. I loved it. but That was not my forever. What is not your forever? Is what you're doing right now not your forever? Maybe you love your company. Maybe you love your coworkers. Maybe you love your schedule, but you want to go that next step. Maybe you want to step into a leadership role. Maybe you want to be able to be a site supervisor. You can do that. You can really do that, but it starts right here, right between your head, right between those temples in your mind. Everything is about mindset. I was having lunch with my friend, Miss Pam, the other day. She was also my first cheerleading coach, um, like literally, hmm, let's see, 26 years ago. And um, I got to have, oh, I had to have coffee with her, actually. And she said to me, we were sitting there, you know, it's all about mindset. And if I could put that on a billboard, on a shirt, if you think it, you can do it. But if you don't think it, you dang sure can't do it. So you have the power to change your work life, whether it's your schedule. Okay. I knew I couldn't keep working four 12 to 14 hour days and one eight hour day every single week and traveling on the weekends for work. I couldn't do it. I couldn't be the mom I wanted to be. I couldn't be the leader I wanted to be. I couldn't be as effective as I wanted to be. And I damn sure couldn't have afforded to change everything at one time. But incrementally over time, I figured out ways to make small sacrifices to train other people, to give trust to people, big word, to be able to change my work life. So what is it about your work life that you would change? Or what is the goal that you want to set? Because remember, the topic of today is the choice is yours. It really is yours. There's no one else responsible for the course of your life. No one. Scary, huh? (laughs) but also like super empowering and powerful. Okay. The second topic we're going to dive into is finances. Okay. But before we do, it's time for, you guessed it, trivia in the trenches. So if it's your first time here, first of all, thanks for being here. If it's your second time here, thanks for being here again. If you've listened to my podcast um, on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, thank you. But be sure if you're watching this on YouTube that you can click the little thumbs up button in the bottom um, and subscribe to our channel because that is how we know that you love what we're doing and we can keep doing what we're doing. So don't forget that part. Now, for our trivia today, so it's totally unrelated topic. (laughs) I almost like get tickled to myself when I do trivia in the trenches and I'm filming or recording by myself because there's no one to answer except you guys in your brain. So I guess that's why I get so tickled. But anyhow, here we go. All right, you ready? What is the name of the dog in the movie 
How the Grinch Stole Christmas. <laughs> Max! Yay! I feel like some of you probably already knew that. And so um, when I was doing research, I do do research for the trivia. <laughs> when I was doing research for the trivia, I was like, this is the perfect question because this is an example of how the choice is yours. So um, for those watching on YouTube, I'll pop a uh, image up here of my Christmas tree. So I have a Grinch Christmas tree in my house. Why? Well, I also have a Harry Potter one because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but I have a Grinch Christmas tree because I feel like I went most of my life only living part of who I am. It was like I had to be a business professional or I had to be, you know, a girly girl or I had to have like my house look like a museum or it was a disaster. But like, what if in the corner I have a crazy Disney tree or goals for next year or a Harry Potter tree? Because I have a fun kid, like childlike side to my personality. And so I am learning in my choice in my life to live my whole self. So I think that'll be a whole podcast episode. Yeah. So what part of yourself are you not living out? So my Grinch tree. Yay. If you're not watching on YouTube, um, I'll try to drop the Grinch tree picture on Instagram. So like in the middle of summer, right? People will definitely take a look at that. So anyhow. All right. So first we were talking about how do we change our work lives? Next, we're going to talk about our finances. So let me start out by saying I have a very radical approach to finances. Okay. So I cannot account for every single person's situation as I talk through this. So if you're like, well, she doesn't even know where I'm coming from. I'm trying and I hear you and I see you. But for the sake of time, for the sake of time, I am going to just try to kind of narrow down our field a bit. Okay. So I'm not trying to be narrow minded, but I am trying to narrow our focus. So let's talk about our finances. Assuming you haven't won the lottery recently, you probably have some financial goals. You did win the lottery recently. You probably still should have some financial goals, right? And some of you are like, I don't even know what a financial goal is. And that's totally fine. The choice is yours. But here's the deal. Don't think I'm crazy when I say this. You don't have to live broke forever. Awkward pause, right? Think about that. You don't have to live broke forever. The choice is yours. You can literally already spend all of your money before you ever get paid. Okay. So if you're someone sitting here listening or watching and your paycheck comes in and out and you have no idea where the money went, it's time to change that. Okay. And you can do it. I promise. I have been there. I have been with you. I've got myself out of debt. And then I got back into debt when I had my son left the hospital with $18,000 NICU bill like had to pay all of that down. I have been there. I feel you, but it all starts small. So in your financial life, which is part of you, you have to decide, do you like how you're living right now? Simple. Like, I don't know. Well, maybe you need a little bit more education, but yes, I like how I'm living right now or no, I don't. And it's not always just about making more money. You will live up to the amount of money you make. If you get a $50,000 raise today, Okay. You'll get a new house. You'll probably go buy a new car and you'll be in the same broke place you're in six months from now, a year from now. If you don't get a handle on your money, the choice is yours. It's all about education. There's so many free financial tutorials on TikTok, on YouTube, but I'm going to give you a little tidbit of my radical way of doing finances. Okay. And I understand this is like, whoa, if you've never looked at the way you manage money, but let's take how, how much you make a month. So let's just say that you bring home, let's say $3,000 a month. Okay, let's throw that there. In that $3,000, go ahead and spend it on paper before you get it or on a spreadsheet. Mine's in a spreadsheet. Okay. So I take the $3,000. How much is your mortgage? How much is your car payment? How much is your car insurance? How much is your cell phone? How many subscriptions do you have that you don't need? Mm. The choice is yours. And if you get down to the bottom and all you got is 50 bucks left, get another job. I'm not saying get another job, like your whole new job. Start a side gig. Start doing people's laundry, cutting lawns, doing all kinds of things until you can take that to the next level and maybe upgrade your skills, which is called upskilling, to get a new job. Okay. 
You do not have to live in the same circumstances you were raised in, you were taught about, or that you've seen. It is attainable for you to change your circumstances. The choice is yours. Okay? And if you want to hear more about finances, drop it in the comments or shoot me an email at chat at brookplack.com and I will, um, I'll do a whole podcast about the finance stuff for you guys. Okay? Maybe do like a screen recording tutorial or something like that. So um, I know a lot of people may be interested in that one. So we've talked about the choice is yours in your finances and at work. And the last one we're going to talk about is relationships. Okay. So in relationships, I wanted to open this one up and saying, kind of a little disclaimer like I did about finances, is if you are in an abusive relationship, mentally, physically, sexually, I am not talking to you right now, okay? Those situations, you have every right to get out, to leave, to find whatever resources that you can, okay? I have never been in a physically, oh, that's kind of a lie, right? Okay. I've never been in a long-term physically abusive relationship. I cannot imagine the weight that that carries. People say, just leave, just go. I understand it's not that easy. Okay. So if that is you, please reach out to someone that you trust, to a local church, local organization. You don't have to go through that alone. And no matter what you think, there is someone out there that will treat you the way you deserve, okay? But for the rest of us that may be living in mediocrity or that maybe are carrying the weight of friendships or family members, the choice is yours. I was at a women's conference recently and my best friend, Danny Hardy, um, who will be on the podcast and on the YouTube channel soon, you guys will get to meet her. She said, We as Christians are to carry people to the cross, not beyond the cross. The stress in your life may be from carrying weight that's not yours into places you don't belong. So whether you're a believer or not, take that into context of life. We are to be there for people. We are not to do it for them. The stress in our lives may be from carrying weight that's not ours into places we don't belong. Ouch, right? So if you have an adult child that you are supporting that is able to work, think about that. You don't need to be spending your retirement supporting them. They can get off the games and they can go work. Okay, we all have mental health struggles. We all have emotional struggles. If they are able-bodied and able-minded enough, have them go work. Maybe you are paying off the debt of a romantic partner. Maybe you are in a relationship that's not abusive, but it's not healthy. The choice is yours. There is no one else on this planet responsible for your happiness besides you. Not your parents, not your screwed up childhood, not your deadbeat lover. It's you. And if you are not happy when it's you and in those moments when nothing else is going on, you're not going to be happy no matter what. No amount of money, no man, no woman, none of that. So what kind of relationships are you allowing in your life? Are there toxic friends that need to go? Are they always bringing around alcohol and you're trying to quit drinking? Are they smoking pot all the time and you really want to get that out of your life? Those decisions are hard, but you are worth it. You are worth those hard decisions. Your life, your progress, your self-confidence, it's worth it but nobody else is responsible for it besides you, okay? There are so many resources available. There are books, there are podcasts, there are YouTube channels. 
all kinds of things that are free. If you have a working phone, and almost everyone does, or if you don't, you can go to the library. You can get out of the situation that you're in. If it's generational poverty, if it is debt, if it is a dead-end job or a nowhere relationship or a house that you're not proud of, you can change it. You are co-creating your life with the creator of this entire universe. The soul living inside you wants more. And it's not just money. You can make more money, but you can't make more time. We only get one trip, one trip down to this earth. What are you going to do with it? Until next time. You've been listening to the Grit Crusade podcast with Brooke Plack. Our theme song is Thunder City by Lunar Ray, licensed through Soundstrike. This podcast was produced by Luminate Media Group. Thank you for listening, and we will see you on the next episode.